hey welcome back to the series um in this in this episode we are going to see how to install docker because we have done a lot of uh, videos so far in this series but it's time for us to install docker on our local machine so that we can run this whole um, application or node.js api on docker so it's very important for you to understand why we need docker and why we need to install docker on our local machine so it doesn't matter whether you are a seasoned developer uh, or not uh, it, it the docker will help uh, from seamless environment setup to consistent deployments and it actually provides a powerful solution to some of the most common challenges um, as developers that we face every day so let's look at this simple example where uh, where we deploy our application into the server so that we can serve that application to the internet so imagine if you lose any file <coughs> while while moving or migrating all your files into the server so your application doesn't function properly so it is very difficult for you to track all the files that you need to deploy into the server every time so maybe maybe when you start at the beginning maybe you might have one or two files or maybe 10 files but as you grow it is very difficult to track all the files that you need to deploy into the server so when you have a docker all you need to do is you just need to create a docker image from all the files to run the application and you can actually run this docker image as a container wherever the docker environment is for example you can take this docker image run run it as a container on google cloud or M <coughs> aws amazon services or, or microsoft azure you can deploy this Azure, sorry, you can deploy this image wherever you want to, uh, provided they, there should be a Docker environment available there. So, so that way it will be easy for you to uh, migrate your application into server every time. And uh, that is not the only uh, solution and they, it, it provides a lot of other um, solutions as well to the developer. So let's get into installation. So first of all, we need to install Docker desktop if you want to run docker on your local machine so the docker desktop is available for both windows and mac and you can actually see uh, there are so many use cases where you can use docker and it is secure from start start and you can manage the images in the docker desktop itself and also you can you can you can build kubernetes ready applications as well so <clears throat> based on your os you can actually install uh, install the docker desktop let's uh, let's click on that button so once installed so i'm actually installing this on mac right now so uh, if if you have a windows machine you can actually do it uh, you, you can fast forward forward to the windows setup um so right now we are doing on mac so let's uh, once once we move this docker into applications uh, let's open this docker the first thing we need to do is we just need to agree to the <clears throat> yeah let's let's accept the terms and you can go through if you want to once that is done you can just use recommended settings or we can just change those settings while installing it's up to you I'm choosing the recommended settings once that is done either you can create the account docker hub account where you can actually store docker images or you can skip it directly you can use it so this is the docker desktop where you can see um, the docker documentation as well and also it comes with uh, example docker images and containers and here is the images and this is the container, the example container. And uh, once the Docker desktop is installed, you can actually check your terminal whether the Docker is working or not. And you can see the list of images by putting Docker images. And we can pull the Docker, any Docker image from Docker Hub, public Docker Hub, with Docker pull, the whatever the name that Docker image name once the pull is completed you can actually check 
again with the docker images so that you can see two images right now go to the images yep so we just pulled that node uh, node.js so that's why we have seen two images under images and this is the example container that comes with docker desktop if you hit that ip and you can see the container container is running on our mission and we can access that example project through web as well and one more thing uh, we want to look at is volumes uh, we use volumes to persist across container restarts whenever you delete the container it will uh, all the data will be lost with that container so if you use volumes the data persists across container restarts and also we can have extensions and we can install any extension that you want and you can use it in the docker desktop itself and let's we have seen how to uh, how we can install docker desktop on mac let's see how we can do that in windows so let's go to the same page and based on the os let's download the docker desktop it takes some time uh, for for it to download but it's the same process um, it's going to be the same process that you need to follow let's wait until the download is completed so once completed you can click on it and go to the downloads page and double click on it and just just follow the prompts so that you can install docker desktop on your machine on your windows machine i think it i think it's already installed on my machine but uh, you, can, you all you need to go all you need to do is just follow the prompts and just finish the setup So it is saying existing installation is up to date. So that means it's already there. Um, so if if you are installing for the first time, all you need to do is just follow the prompts and install it. So after that, we need to install uh, WSL, which is Windows Subsystem for Linux. So first we need to install that with uh, with WSL update command so that you can use you can start using docker on windows so when you hit this command it, it is going to take some time um, to install wsl on your on your mac on your windows so let's wait okay we, we're almost done so once this is completed you can just uh, close the docker desktop window and reopen it it will it should start working yeah let's close this and click on it again and it should start working so as you can see uh, we have seen already uh, the do docker desktop in on mac it's the same thing and and there is no default images and containers here and there are some walkthroughs and there are some sample documentation there is no default container so let's let's hit the command on powershell docker so that we can verify whether the docker is there or not yes we can see the output so let's pull some image so we're going to pull nginx image so once you run the command docker pull nginx it will actually look for that particular docker image in the docker hub and it will pull and in <clears throat> and it will save that into your local mission
once that is pulled you can actually see that this particular image in the docker desktop images section okay now you can list that images with docker images yep we have that ng nginx image so as you can see uh, you can actually see that in the under images section as well now uh, let's we have an image right now and we can create a container out of it all you need to do is you need to run this command docker run and you need to give the name of the container and the port which port it is it is actually listening to or running and you have to map that internal port to the output uh, sorry out outside and we are using the image um, nginx so they, they, there is completely different episode to explain everything in this command but all you need to understand is we are just running the docker image that we just pulled with the docker run command and you can actually see that in the under container section so we pull the image and we are running that image as a container and when you hit localhost it is actually running on port 80 so that's why when you hit localhost you can actually see welcome to nginx welcome page so that is how you work with uh, images and container so we have seen a sample project uh, how you can pull docker image and how you can run docker container out of that image and also you can list what are the containers that that are running on your machine with docker ps so you can stop the container with docker stop so the container name is web server here that's why you need to give the container name so that's why it will <coughs> it will stop that particular container and you can remove that container with the docker rm command And all the all those steps you can do that from the Docker desktop itself. You can start or stop from the Docker desktop itself. You don't have to use these command line. So we're going to remove the image with Docker RMI. So RMI is nothing but remove image, and you need to give the image name as well. Now, if you list the images, there is no that image that we pulled. And the same result you can see on the Docker desktop itself. So that is that's how you need Docker to install. Uh, sorry, you need Docker desktop on your machine to run Docker containers or create Docker images. So thank you for watching, and we will see more uh, content regarding Docker in the in the coming episodes. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.